okay good morning friends uh, now we'll see how to have a assembly when the parts are being drawn initially first we see the drawing of whose assembly has to be done this is old hams coupling which has four parts one is flange this is two in the assembly this is disc which is only one shaft two key two such a way you need to first draw all these parts and save as a separate file in a folder this is called as bottom up approach in bottom up approach of assembly you draw the parts and then you assemble it in top down approach in the assembly only you start drawing the parts so we will use most popular is bottom up approach so i have directly drawn the parts saved it in a folder so oldham's coupling folder i have in that i have saved a disc a flange key and shaft a separate file of each part giving the name of that particular part give the name so that while calling it will be easy which part it is you can identify it so let us quickly do the assembly of it go to start mechanical design assembly design in assembly design you uh, the window will open like this you have product structure tools move constraint update toolbars available so you can call one by one the parts so right click on product go to components and existing component existing components means which are already drawn which is available so knuckle joint it will ask for the folder select it we are talking about old hams coupling so select the old hams coupling first part what you need is a disk so select the disk press open so it will be available on the screen just see rotate it this is the disk according to the drawing so first part always of the assembly you have to fix it so that it will not rotate during assembly so constraint as the part came here it was active so this became active so fix this is one constraint select it and select on this so it will be fixed anchor will be there so that it will not rotate let us call other so you can also call by product structure tools there is a existing component click this click on the product this way also you can call call the next flange press open so by default every part we draw at 0 0 so it will come at the 0 0 position take a compass click it on this red click it drag it and put it on the solid where you have to which that part you have to move so put it over heat this will be active in your case this will turn into green if it is not green just click it on the now this is not active white color in my case click on the body it will turn in my case it's black in my case it's black in your case it will be green so take it outside drag it clicking on any of that direction whether you need to go up down whether you need to rotate so see it how you want rotate it and bring it in a proper orientation before having the assembly so drag it outside now keep this compass at its original position now if you see that face to face now the first constraint this now all this constraint became active because two parts are there this relation is possible between these two so these are active now this flange and disc are cylindrical in nature they have got some common axis so we can have a coincidence constraint that the axis of this and this should coincide each other click this once you click it will show you the axis when you move the cursor over the body click it here for this also these two axis must be coincident these are the constraint symbol for coincidence constraint now it is constraint but it is not updated there is a update the symbol click it 
now as this was fixed disk didn't move only the flange moved now if you see this is in line with axis is same now what we need is we need to touch this surface but this is vertical and this is horizontal so what you can do is just take the other constraint contact constraint this surface and one of this surface must contact update it this is the symbol for contact constraint now this has turned and this is now in line with it if you see it it is all in a contact phase it is in the same plane so you have to give one more constraint within with one constraint it is not possible you need two three constraint so again contact constraint you can have this phase and this phase to contact update it so this is now perfect assembly of a disk and flange same way i will call again one more time the flange on the other part of the disk so again existing component product silicon product flange open again it came take a compass click it on the base move it outside rotate it in a proper orientation not this this sorry this arc and move to its original position now first constraint is coincidence like the previous one this two update so it is reoriented now contact constraint this phase and this phase update so again it has moved now one more constraint i have to give contact constraint this phase and this phase any phase you can give which are facing to each other so you got a perfect assembly of two flanges and a disk now let us take a shaft again existing component product shaft open so shaft is here take a compass move it on the body make sure that it is active so that you can move drag it outside pull it on one side by taking a respective line holding a respective line now you have to insert this so rotate it just check how you can rotate rotate this and again drag to the position in front of this drag it outside take the compass to its original position now the first constraint is coincidence this and this axis update it so it will orient itself now this keyway and this keyway must be in line so for that you cannot give contact because these two are not contacting each other so you can use offset next command offset from this surface to this surface there is offset of 0 zero. zero offset you can give alternatively zero press okay and update it sorry it is not updating means it is already at zero so no need to give it is already zero it has taken initially it was at that now this shaft should not touch this projection of the disk so we can give some offset value so offset from this face and this face you can take 5 mm offset positive offset of 5 mm and update it so see it's perfectly inserted by default this was zero offset and there is a 5 mm gap between the shaft and the this flange if you want to see just right click on a flange this flange and hide it you will see the difference of 5 mm between the projection so again unhide it so again take one more shaft existing component a product shaft open take a compass drag it here move it outside rotate it bring it to the proper position remove the compass keep it to the original position coincidence constraint this axis this axis update now see that we have to give offset constraint from 
this phase to this phase is a zero. Okay, update it. So this will rotate it. Now it is showing some problem. So I will delete this. Delete this constraint. And again, I will take a compass and reorient it first. So I will move it in a proper way. Okay, this is the position. Then I will remove the compass. Now I will give offset from this phase to this phase. It is zero. Okay, update it. So it is at that particular position. Now. Again, offset from this projection of the disc and the front face is of phi distance. Okay, update. So both shafts has been inserted in the flange. Now just call the key. Click on this key. Open. So key may be somewhere at the center, which is not visible now because it's very small. So go to flange, hide it. If it is visible, not visible yet. One more flange, hide it. See here it is. So disc also you just part one is a disc, hide it. So click this. Drag it outside. Other parts just unhide it. Show, show, show. Now it is inactive. Com compass is inactive. Just click on the body, it will be active. So, see, this is larger, this is smaller. So, we can take it in a proper orientation. Pull it to the required position yes now Sorry, I will bring it in front of so that it will be okay. Now contact constraint this surface and the bottom surface must contact each other update it so it will come in a proper orientation then we have to insert it so we can have a contact constraint of this face and the corresponding face on the keyway update it so it will come in line now you have to insert it. See that again it should have it must be at the same distance. So offset distance from this projection to this projection it is phi distance. Okay, update it. So key has been inserted. Perfect. So one more time will call a key so existing component click on the product key open again it will be somewhere inside this so you need to hide it so it's available here pull it out 
take it in a proper position rotate it holding a particular arc and hide it bring it near to the assembly yes now keep this compass at its original position contact this face and bottom face must contact each other update then contact this face and this face update now offset offset this face to this face it is phi distance not contact it is offset of phi update so key will be inserted so this is the assembly of old ham scripting so once all the parts are over you can file save as save it as a old ham scripting file save it you will get a assembly file of this which you can edit later so here you can explore the view also explore all of them it will ask for the label a window 3d label one product apply okay so you will get a exploded view also if you again update now if you see these are black constraints are black because it has moved from its original position again update it will come to its original position okay this is the old ham scripting